Hello and welcome back to AP Psychology here on Educator.com. Now we're taking a look at perception as part of the Sensation and Perception Unit. Objectives, and this is what the College Board is going to be having us look at. Describe the general principles of organizing and integrating sensation to promote stable awareness of the external world. And in this particular section, we're going to be looking at Gestalt principles and depth perception. And so, although the rest of that is here, we've either dealt with some of that or going to be dealing with that later. But um, this particular segment, we're looking at those object that first objective right there. Gestalt, you remember from the first set of uh, videos where we looked at the different perspectives, the different viewpoints that um, psychology has. And Gestalt is a cognitive viewpoint. And Gestalt is a German word that means pattern or whole. And so the Gestalt psychologist wanted to figure out how and why do we figure, how, do, how and why do we view the world? How do we figure out the patterns? How do we know what's there? What's going on? And so they focused on and they discovered that we have tendencies to integrate pieces of information into meaningful holes. For example, what do you see here in letter A? What do you see? Now, some people see a white triangle on top of three red circles. The thing is, is that that white triangle does not exist. Your brain made that triangle. Your brain absolutely made that triangle. And so when you think about what you see here, all that's really there is three um, three quarter pie looking pieces. There are three Pac-Men, so to speak. So it's one of those things where do you really see what you think you see? Or does your brain make some stuff up? In this case, your brain is making some stuff up. How about this one? What does your brain see. Now, if you're like most of us, you're going to say, well, I see a bunch of um, triangular cones that are coming out of some sort of a sphere. So there's a big globe at the center of that, and then there's these spiky things coming out from it. Well, the thing is, is that your brain made that sphere. That sphere does not exist. So your brain is trying to make sense and put things into a meaningful pattern in terms of understanding things. What do you see over here on D? Now, what a lot of people will see is they will assume that this is a straight line and they will see something that looks something like a Loch Ness Monster. But the reality is, is that is not what is there. You've got a little shape here. You've got a little hump shape here. And you've got a little tailing off shape here. But there isn't a Loch Ness Monster there. So our brains are imposing a reality, but they do that in a very predictable way. So Gestalt shows us that sometimes our brain lies to us. And sometimes our brain is looking for patterns. Not just visually, but as we discover in our course of AP Psychology, in a lot of different way, our brain is looking for patterns. Oh, are you uncomfortable because I didn't finish this particular explanation? Huh, 